Two separate violent domestic abuse cases reported in Oklahoma City this week. And it's highlighting an often unseen yet prevalent crime across our state, and that's strangulation. News 9's Jesse Mitchell shows us how deadly the act can be and explains how some are working to change the statistics on this. Jesse? Palomar reports that 70% of the domestic violence victim it serves have been strangled by their intimate partners. And they say simply reporting these crimes is helping to lead them in the right direction. Since opening last year, Palomar has educated victims and officials on the dangers of strangulation. CEO Kim Garrett says the crime would often go unreported in the past because the wounds are often invisible. Sometimes, like when officers arrive on scene, it'll be the offender who actually has injury. Because if you're fighting for your life, what are you going to do? Like, you'll do anything. But she says internal injuries can lead to blood clots, voice loss, and even deadly strokes. Plus, a domestic strangling victim is 750 times more likely to be murdered by their partner later. David Prater, the DA, says it's actually an appetizer for homicide. What most people don't realize is that it only takes four pounds of pressure in the right place to kill someone. My grip strength is 82 pounds with one hand. In one of this week's cases, the victim was with her twin two-year-olds when their father attacked her. And despite being choked until she saw stars, she did not want to press charges. In the other case, the victim's eight-year-old was in the home as her partner beat her until she lost consciousness. Garrett says these incidents have a major long-term impact on the children as well. You'll see issues with substance abuse, mental health issues, suicidal ideation or completion, there's direct correlations to trauma exposure. But she believes our community is slowly changing for the better, with more victims reporting the crimes and prosecutors pushing for stricter punishment for suspects. And if you need help escaping an abusive relationship, please visit the Story in the News 9 app to connect to resources. Live on the scene on the Story in Midtown Oklahoma City, Jesse Mitchell, News 9.